error. Hmm? <gasps> he didn't seem like a troublemaker. How long have we left? Six days. Traveling to other worlds is all that anyone seems to be writing about these days. <laughs> Goodness no. This world is full of unsolved mysteries. Writing about their own world. Not bad at all. Five Cossack Plaza is looking at Make sure you get in line early. So many complaints. What should I do? Need any help? Ah, oh, are you the traveler who my superior said would come and help us out? You came at the perfect time. We're facing a small problem here. As you know, the Iridori Festival is underway. In addition to all the things on sale, there's a lot of free entertainment programs available. But today, we received numerous complaints that a group of people have been hogging the Tanuki photo board. They won't leave so no one else gets to use it. Hmm. <sighs> what a headache. Can't you drive them away? Well, we tried talking to them, but the original point of these entertainment facilities was to let people freely enjoy the festival. So in principle, it's open to everyone. And there's no time limit on usage. This means that as long as they haven't done anything technically illegal, even if they keep hogging it, there is nothing we can do. So, can you try negotiating with them for us? If these complaints can't be resolved and Madame Cujo finds out, I'll lose my bonus this month for sure. Hugging a photo board, huh? <laughs> we know who would do something like that. Should we go and have a look? Do we? <sighs> Thank you so much. You'll find them by the Tanuki photo board just east of the square. Mm, festivals always attract so many people. <sighs> Well, if it isn't our Taki Ito and his gang. I knew it was gonna be them. Let's go and see what all this is about. Thanks for your support. Uh, uh, it's gonna be a whole month off. I wish I at least extend this. That Blender Brigade will definitely be a big hit. Hey, hey, Traveler, Paimon, what's happening? Oh, you came here for the Iridori Festival too? Oh, see, I knew it! Great minds think alike, huh? Ha 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 ha! You're such a child. We're here to take care of a little problem. Yo, oh, yo, oh, right, yeah, well, who's got a problem? The Arataki Gang considers it our born duty to help those in need. You are the problem. Wait, huh? The Arataki Gang is the problem! The Tenryo Commission said you guys have been hogging the photo board and nobody else has had a chance to use it. Oh, uh, well, no, we haven't. What do you care to explain? Oh, uh, it's kind of a long story. Uh, hey, Mamoru, you're up. 
Explain the situation to these good people. Yes, boss. The story starts two months ago, when we first found out about the Iridori Festival. As everyone knows, this is a festival all about showcasing culture, with books on all kinds of topics on display and for sale. Our boss is very forward-thinking. He thought we should seize this golden opportunity to publish some material introducing the Arataki Gang and help craft a glorious public image. He also said we can make some money out of it to support ourselves! <clears throat> uh, well, that wasn't the main reason, obviously. <laughs> of course that was your main reason! At first, we had plenty of time. In two months, Boss planned to write 60 pages. But one month in, and he'd written a grand total of one line. Well, I mean, come on, you gotta make sure the quality is up to scratch. More like worst procrastinator ever. So we cut some of the planned content, and figured it would still be fine if we could put out 20 pages in the next month. But the day after that, the boss got a hold of this card game called Genius Invocation TCG. Everyone loved it! It felt like we only played a few rounds, but before we knew it, half a month had gone by. I'm telling you, this game, it's pretty incredible. I was just gathering inspiration for my writing. What? Sure you were. Inspiration that has absolutely nothing to do with what you were writing about. So, then we only had two weeks left. No way was that going to be enough time to publish a book. Boss said we should just make a colorful flyer instead. That way, we'd only need to think of a slogan. That makes more sense. It shouldn't take too long to think of a slogan, right? Yeah, it didn't take long at all. We came up with 30 slogans between us in just half a day. But 30 was too many, and we couldn't agree with each other on which one to use. It took us a week to make the final decision. That was when we realized we'd have to pay an expensive express fee for the printing, because there was so little time left. And we couldn't afford it! You gotta take it slow if you want to do something well. Pay an express fee and they're gonna do a rush job, and <laughs> then there's gonna be all sorts of problems. The Arataki Gang only puts out the very best into the world. And that is why I decided to give up on that project. Whatever makes you happy. That, yep, well said. You gotta do what keeps you happy. Same goes for humans and Oni alike. And it's not every day that you get to go to an Iridori festival, right? So priority number one right now is enjoying ourselves to the mo 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 max And the way you chose to enjoy yourselves was to commandeer a novelty photo board? Um, so at first, Boss brought us here to buy some drinks. He said there was some sort of Iridori Festival limited edition soft drink available. That's right. This ain't no ordinary drink either. It's a special edition joint creation of Sailing Breeze and Yai Publishing House, as featured in the popular novel Pretty Please Kitsune Guji. Uh, what? But when we got to the festival, the staff wouldn't let us in because of our unusual outfits. They said we had to show up looking like our normal selves before they'd let us in. We'd invested a lot of time and money into the way we looked, and then they accused us of spoiling the image of the city. One thing led to another, and by the time we finally got to Sailing Breeze's booth, all the drinks were sold out. We were pretty disappointed, but there was nothing we could do. Then we saw this photo board on the way back. Boss said we can't let the trip go to waste, so... So you decided to take over the whole area for your own use? <laughs> I beg to differ. It's public property. We didn't commandeer anything. We're just making sure public resources get used to the max. Yeah, boss is right. We're the ones making the most out of this thing. Never let a single moment in your life go to waste. That's our policy in the Arataki Gang, and we're out here making sure this photo board gets the most out of its lifespan, too. Oh, brother, what a noble cause.
Could also go buy some books. But we spent so much money on our appearance. We only had enough left for one of those drinks. We don't have anywhere near enough to buy books. But you can't just take over this photo board for yourself because it's free and you don't have any money. Other people have the right to use it too. I guess when you put it like that, I can kind of see where you're coming from. So come on! Let someone else have their turn already! Um... Um... But you know full well that the Arataki gang has a reputation to uphold. If I say I'm gonna make the most out of this board, then I have to live up to my words. If we just scrap our plan like that, we'd be going against our word. A gang's gotta have integrity, or it does huge damage to your prestige. <clears throat> that being said, we won't have to worry about any of that if we can settle this the Arataki way. The Arataki way, huh? Paimon has a bad feeling about this. So I, Arataki numero uno ito, challenge you to an all-out, no-holds-barred, anything-goes duel. If you win, I will leave this board alone. Hey, let's have a deal. Oh, beetle fighting is an awesome idea. Just so happens I caught myself a true beast of an Oni Kabuto the other day. I call it Demon of Darkness. Yeah, you could probably Unfortunately, I didn't bring Demon of Darkness with me today, so... Well, that's a relief. So, how are we gonna do this duel? Uh, let's think. Um, yeah, ugh, wow, this is a, this is a tough nut to crack. Let me think for a second, um. Hey, look! Isn't that Toma? Guess he's here for the festival, too. Why don't we ask Toma how to do this duel? Paimon bets he'll have tons of ideas. Toma! Toma! Over here! Hey, Traveler and Paimon! Maybe I could just turn my diary into a lightning album. Definitely a big hit. What a nice surprise meeting you guys here. <sighs> well... I heard that a certain well-known individual had made an appearance at the festival and taken quite a liking to the Tanuki photo board. Since the Yashiro Commission is the host of this festival, I felt I simply had to come and meet them in person. Hmm. Red horns. If I'm not mistaken, you must be the esteemed Arataki Ito, leader of the widely renowned Arataki Gang. Is that right? <laughs> Toma, my bro, your eyes do not deceive you. And you are the housekeeper extraordinaire of the Kamisato clan. You're quite the celebrity yourself, you know. Well, I'm flattered, Ito. And it's nice to meet you too, um, bro. Whoa, there's a serious bromance developing here. <laughs> I didn't expect to run into both Ito and the Traveler here. Speaking of which, I kind of count as the host here. So is anything wrong? Don't worry, you can tell me anything. It's all Ito! He wants to- Ah, uh, no, 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 it's no, no, it's no big deal. We were just about to have a duel, and uh, we're trying to think of what format it should take. Oh, a duel. In that case, I have a suggestion. Since your duel is taking place at the Iridori Festival, why don't you have a volunteering competition? Then, you can both do your part for the Iridori Festival while settling your duel at the same time. What do you think? Volunteering competition? I, uh, sounds a little low-key. Not quite hardcore enough for the Arataki gang. I give this idea an interest rating of uh, two points. One for the Traveler, one for Toma. Boss means, uh, two points out of a hundred. <laughs> yeah, this job isn't the most high stakes, that's for sure. It just takes a little patience and responsibility. Also, since it's volunteering, by definition, there's no remuneration. All you'll get is this special edition drink from Sailing Breeze, as a small token of appreciation. On second thought, this is nowhere near enough for the prestigious Arataki gang. I don't know what I was thinking. 
Wait, 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 wait a sec. What was that part about the uh, token of appreciation? Oh, it's just a special edition drink produced by Yai Publishing House and Sailing Breeze. It's really nothing special. Boss, that's the one! If we take this gig, we'll get that drink! Oh, so, uh, Toma, my bro, my guy, my dude, maybe I didn't explain properly. When I said two points, that's out of a total of two. <laughs> if there's one thing the Arataki gang is known for, I kid you not, it's our patience and responsibility. It's an awesome idea, totally hardcore. Practically tailor-made just for me. <laughs> <laughs> Traveler, let's do this for our duel, huh? It'll be amazing! Whoever volunteers the hardest wins. What do you think? You didn't seem too interested in it just a second ago. Yeah. Hey, this is the mighty Arataki, above all, bold-blooded Ito you're talking to here. I'm a say what I mean, mean what I say, might sound mean, but I say it anyway kind of guy. And I say, we're gonna have this duel. A.K.A. doesn't want people to know he's only doing it for the drinks kind of guy. If it's decided, then allow me to take the role of your judge. The volunteer work is simple. You just need to give your help to people who need it during the festival. I will assign some job requests that I've already received to you. If you're ready, we can begin. My primancy! Okay, our first job is to help a busy vendor. His stand is just nearby. Are you the volunteers? Perfect timing. As you can see, there's a lot of dust and dead leaves around my stand. I've just been so busy with my customers these past few days, I keep meaning to sweep up, but I just haven't found a spare moment. Can you help me clean up the place, please? Thank you so much. Get in line over here. Oh. You're finished already? Wow, you work hard. You're wonderful people, all you volunteers. Thank you so much. Let's see. Please, Our next job is to here. help a visitor. with you right now. I'm not playing games. I'm in trouble. I heard they were selling a new kind of tamari at the festival, so I, I came to check it out. But I, I couldn't find it anywhere. And then I went and lost my current one. <laughs> it's gotta be nearby. I, I still had it a moment ago. Can you help me, miss? <sighs> so basically, every time we run into you, we have to go to Mari Hunt it. You want the latest issue? Thanks for your support. <sighs> Great! Ah, oh, now I can play the Tamari game again. Thanks, miss. Okay, one last job. Hmm. We need to help move some goods at the port. Uh, please, Let's go. Get in line over here. I just absolutely love this thing. Not bad at all. Gonna ignore that for now. Gonna ignore that for now. Are you the festival volunteers? Oh, great. I was just wondering what to do about these goods. It's been really busy lately and all the workers at the port are swamped. But I have to get all this fresh soy milk delivered to the warehouse as soon as possible. It'll go bad if it's left outside too long. Can you please help me take it to the warehouse? My co-worker Takeuchi will be waiting for you there. Thank you so much.
Ah, uh, you must be the volunteers here to save the day. You must be tired. Put down the goods and have a rest. I heard the Yashiro Commission has arranged for Sailing Breeze to prepare some special drinks for the volunteers as a way of saying thank you. Soy milk is actually one of the ingredients for the drink. It's freshly made every day. In fact, the last batch of soy milk we processed has just been sent over. You'll get to try it very soon. What? So Sailing Breeze's special drink has soy milk in it? Ito won't be able to drink that! Hurry! We've got to get to Sailing Breeze before he does! Hmm. Welcome home, almighty Shogun. Ah, you're here. It appears everyone has arrived. Last night, I visited a former servant who once worked for my family. I was able to learn the entirety of what happened all those years ago. In my great-grandfather's generation, the Ishin art was tasked with forging an important Goshinto according to an ancient forging diagram. Though all the craftsmen involved were very experienced, the process was still unsuccessful. Every blade that was forged was defective. When the deadline came, the blade still wasn't finished, so the craftsmen all fled and hid for fear of punishment. The Kaidahara clan and Yashiro commission then conducted an investigation. My great-grandfather and the head of the Kamisato clan eventually tracked down the craftsmen near the seaside. However, they met fierce resistance from the craftsmen, and in the end they were unable to prevent them from escaping by sea. The Kaidahara clan was severely punished for the swordsmiths that had escaped, and the family gradually fell into decline. Moreover, I heard that the head of the Kamisato clan was injured by the fleeing swordsmiths which, combined with his advanced age, caused him to pass away shortly thereafter. Yes. The sudden passing of the family head left the Kamisato clan leaderless. Treacherous people took advantage of the situation and put the family's status in the Yashiro Commission at jeopardy. This single incident had profound effects. Even after the position as head of the clan was passed to my father, the Kamisato clan still wasn't able to regain its prior reputation. But, thanks to my brother, everything is getting better now. The failure to forge the blade was ultimately attributed to a lack of required skill and finesse. The Kaidahara clan and the Yashiro Commission always believed that was the case. However, the story of the five Kasen seems to imply that the failure didn't stem from a lack of skill, but rather, the diagram had been tampered with by someone. Miss Kamisato, I heard yesterday that the Yashiro Commission has still kept the diagram ever since the failed forging all those years ago. Might I ask you to do me a favor? Yes, I understand. I will go back and search for the diagram. Please come meet me at the Kamisato estate later. The Five Kassen Plaza is significantly less crowded now, but it's still too early to relax. This is a serious matter, and we must remain vigilant. Is that clear? Yes, ma'am. Hey, Sara! Oh, it's you. Do you have something to report? It's fine. 
as long as it's been taken care of. This is my duty. I don't see it as an inconvenience. The Tenryo Commission has a responsibility to ensure public order and security during the Iridori Festival. If anything comes up, come to me. Oh, you look really busy. Has something serious happened? Nothing serious, really. We've just received a lot of reports in the past few days over things like line cutting, reselling goods at inflated prices, even troublemakers hogging the photo board. All minor incidents, but it all adds up to create a lot of work for a lot of people. Still, I take the fact that so many people are turning to us for assistance as a sign that the Tenryo Commission is gradually regaining the people's trust. The Shogun gave us orders to provide security at the Iridori Festival. This is a rare chance to change people's perception of the Tenryo Commission, so we cannot afford to slip up. Even if it's tiring work, we must rise to the challenge. Well, no matter how busy you are, at least you still found some time to come here and buy an almighty Shogun figurine, right? We want to buy one too! What do you mean, figurine? <clears throat> I'm just patrolling these parts. In fact, I was just about to leave. <laughs> no need to be shy. Actually, Miko told us that you got up super early this one time to make sure you could be the first in line to buy one of these figurines. Oh, that Lady Guji, how could she disclose... <sighs> Never mind. To be clear, I have no intention to hide that which I do out of reverence alone. But there is one thing you must be corrected on. Oh? What is it? That is not a figurine. It's a statue of Her Excellency, the almighty Narukami Agosho, God of Thunder. Do I make myself clear? Almighty Naru... Narukami Ogu... Uh, got it. This particular statue of Her Excellency, the almighty Narukami Agosho, God of Thunder, is a brand new addition. There will only be 300 available in this batch, and there is a limit of one per customer. Many people have been lining up since well before dawn to acquire one. I'm afraid if you're only showing up now, you're probably too late. Oh, really? So... so you definitely must have gotten here pretty early too then! Did you manage to get one yet? Normally, of course, I would come to purchase one myself. But on this occasion, my duties at the Iridori Festival had to take priority. We are required to report for duty long before the shops open. It is regrettable, but I had no choice but to forego the chance this time. Aw, what a shame. So instead, I had someone purchase one on my behalf. Oh, right! Wait, you can do that? Didn't you say they're limited to one per customer? This figurine is super popular. It must be pretty tough to find someone happy to buy one for you and not for themselves. I anticipated the same at first, but Lady Gujiyae found a professional to assist me, saying she appreciated our tireless efforts during the festival period. I don't know who the professional is. I assume it would be either someone from the Grand Narukami Shrine or from the Yashiro Commission. But I did not ask. Given the time, I believe they should have completed the purchase by now. I am fortunate to have had Lady Guji's help this time. I likely would have struggled to find a candidate on my own. As well as being willing, they would need to be an early riser and also tall enough to beat the crowds to the top-shelf items. Early riser and tall. Toma? <gasps> hmm? What was that sound? I was like, oh, I think just the leaves. Really? Well, never mind. I have been here long enough. It's time for me to head to my next patrol zone. Stay safe during the Iridori Festival.
So I'm locked out. Uh, I'm trying to do this and I'm locked into this. No way! I've been here since last night so I could buy a figurine. But after waiting and waiting, my eyes started to feel real droopy. And... Uh -oh. I only meant to take a short nap. A really quick one. And show you all this one. Oh, If I don't buy one of these figurines, the Tenryu Commission Tangle will lock me up for life. Sheesh! Goodness knows what Miko told you. I guess my only hope now is to sacrifice my salary for this month and buy one off of someone who got here in time. Yep. Yeah. I'm Miko. Really? Great! Then, here's my salary. Please don't spend it all. Huh, you didn't manage to get one either? That's strange. When I came to line up this morning, I checked with my friend who'd already bought one. She'd been lining up since before sunrise, and she was around the 100th in line. I was only 150 places behind her, so surely I should have gotten one. Hmm, something's wrong here. I'm gonna go ask the shopkeeper for an explanation. Festivals always attract so many people. <laughs> <laughs> Why so glum? Didn't manage to get your hands on a statue of her excellency, the almighty Narukami Gosho God of Thunder, by any chance? Sell it? Huh. I ain't selling. Not after all the effort I put in to get a hold of this. Go ask someone else. After coming all this way to Inazuma, and especially getting up early, I still walk away empty-handed. The first batch was smaller than I expected, and who knows when the next batch will come out. Well, since I'm here now, I guess I should buy some other souvenir instead. They didn't manage to get one. Did the shopkeepers get the count wrong or something? Hmm. Oh, why don't we go ask at a Pekasu? Hmm. Might as well. I guess there's nothing to lose. Terribly sorry. I was otherwise occupied this morning and had someone else watch the shop. So I don't know all the details, but according to our records, we did sell the full 300. Hey, what about those ones at the back? Aren't they for sale? I'm sorry, those are... Those are display only. Please don't be too disappointed. We're only selling a limited number of these statues at the festival, and this was only the first batch. Please rest assured, you will all have the chance to purchase one in the future. But when will the next batch be ready? Also, this poor guy came all the way from Mondstadt. He got here earlier than me and was at least 50 places ahead of me. Even he didn't get one. How do you explain these numbers? Look, I don't know a whole lot about Inazuman festivals, but they do seem to have sold out pretty quickly. I'm terribly sorry, but I've triple-checked the sales records for this morning, and everything seems to be accounted for. 
Hmm. Why don't we get the Tenryo Commission to investigate this? The... the Tenryo Commission? No. No way. Hmm? Sorry, who are you? Oh, are you saying this falls under the Yashiro Commission's jurisdiction? Um, um, yeah, it does. We will follow up on this matter, so... So there's no need to go to the Tenryu Commission. They're busy enough as it is. <laughs> uh, that's weird. How come Sai is so motivated to work all of a sudden? Shh, if the Tenryu Commission finds out about this, Kujo Sara will come ask me about it. And then, she'll find out that I didn't buy her figurine, and... Hmm? Anyway, we can't get the Tenryu Commission involved, not unless there's no other way. Huh. Well, since someone's already on the case, I suppose I'll just wait for the findings. <sighs> since I came all this way and didn't get a figurine, I guess I might as well look at what else is available. Thank you both for your understanding. We will make an announcement as soon as the results of the investigation come out. Hmm. So we're supposed to be investigating, but we don't have any leads at all. Oh, maybe the customers really did make a mistake with the Count. If only we had a witness who'd been here the whole time. You mean me? Sorry, I was asleep. Did you hear anything? Did I hear anything? Uh, let me think. <sighs> I'll take these, please. Thank you for your patronage. Please come again. Thank you, patronage. Oh, yeah! Now I remember! I heard thank you for your patronage over and over again this morning. Huh? How many times? Three hundred? Uh, I mean, I... Over how long did each transaction? Um... 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 I got it! There were at least sixteen snores between each thank you for your patronage. That's not how you count it! Sixteen snores should be about one minute. And if we add on the time for moving the boxes and stocking the shelves... Mm. It'll take at least five hours to sell it. Right! Sales only started about four hours ago, so there's definitely a problem with the amount. Okay. Uh, which means, even though I only woke up just now, I still have a chance of getting my hands on one. Maybe. Well, anyway, maybe I failed my mission because a bad guy did something tricky, not because I was being lazy. So then, who's the bad guy? Hmm, well, the shop was pretty strict with this promotion. Not only was there a one per customer limit, they even checked people's identity. So there's no way anyone could have bought more than one. Now, when I eat transaction, it took so long. And with SARS people patrolling the area, no one could have cut the line, right? Our process of elimination, someone remaining option. If someone was up to no good, they'd definitely try to find a way to sell the figurines at a higher price. Let's go ask the guy who says he had to put in a lot of effort to get a hold of one. Maybe he knows something. What's the point of this story again? Make sure you get in line early to buy your special edition drinks! Well, good call, all fighting shogun. If you're tired from walking all around the festival, how about you sit right here and try my Inazuman snacks? Huh? You want to know how I got my hands on this statue? <laughs> Dream on! Huh? Why? It's not like we're trying to buy yours off you! It's a no, okay? No more questions. 
Huh? How come? A staff member sold it to me. How... how did you know? We're professionals. Huh? Oh, oh, right. Yeah, we are professionals. Okay, fine. Since you guessed it anyway. But let me be clear. Don't spread this around. I came here bright and early to line up. But the first batch of statues sold out almost immediately. I wasn't very happy about that, so I went around to the back door of a Pegasus to see if I could find a shop assistant to ask about when the next batch would be coming out. To my surprise, I saw him moving boxes and boxes worth of statues out of the store. Needless to say, I was all ready to march up and demand to know what was going on. But... He gave you figurines to keep you points. Well, uh, yes, uh, but I paid the shop assistant full price for it. So it was still a legitimate transaction. It's not for you to decide whether it was a legitimate transaction or not. Huh? It's... the Tenryo Commission? The Tenryo Commission has received reports that someone has been hoarding goods to resell at extortionate prices. Now, these are not classed as strategic materials, so some amount of price fluctuation is expected in the market. However... It is against the law for a staff member to abuse their position to forge sales records and misappropriate goods. We have already investigated the situation at a Pekusu. The sales records are correct, but in the cash box, there are two bags in which most of the cash has been replaced with stones. But... but how can this be? Please hand over your statue of Her Excellency, the almighty Narukami Ogosho, God of Thunder, as evidence. We will compensate you for your loss once we catch the individual responsible. Ah, uh, fine. So this guy was cooking the books. Never saw that coming. You guys figured this out pretty quickly, Sara. In fact, we were only just tipped off. We're still working on the logistics of the arrest operation. Hm? Who's this? Yikes! I've been spotted! <laughs> oh, you must be the professional Lady Guji hired. I was just wondering why I hadn't seen you yet. Um, we... we were... investigating the missing figurines. Oh, I mean, statues of Her Excellency, the almighty Narukami Okosho, God of Thunder. Is that so? Then thank you. The Tenryo Commission will take over from here. Rest assured, we will get to the bottom of the matter. Uh... Hmm? Um, um... So, uh, about your statue... Really? Thank you. So, where is the statue of Her Excellency, the almighty Narukami Agosho, God of Thunder? As he saw someone misappropriating the statue. Oh! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Sayu spent the whole night investigating the staff. So, by the time she got back, she was just too late to buy one. Yeah, right. I definitely would have made it back in time to buy one, if only it hadn't been for someone stealing the statues. I see. So in the end, you did not manage to purchase a statue, correct? Uh... <laughs> I'm sorry. Don't blame yourself. The criminal is the one responsible here. The important thing now is to devise a plan to bring him to justice as swiftly as possible. Mm-hmm. According to the intelligence, the suspect has already started reselling the statues near the festival venue. But he is lying low and operating very discreetly. If we confront him head-on, he's likely to destroy the evidence and dash. Instead, we will seek to quietly surround him. But in order to achieve this, we will require one person to approach and distract him. Since you've spent the whole night thoroughly investigating this situation, I can think of no one else more suitable to gain his trust than you. Would you be willing to help the Tenryo Commission one final time? What? Uh, <laughs> right. Leave it to us. <laughs> Yeah, 
let's do this. Enjoy the blessing of blessing. <laughs> what took you so long? I've been here ages. Completed my tasks a long time ago. So there you have it. When volunteering is the name of the game, no one volunteers harder than Arataki Ito. <laughs> You lose, I win, and to the victor go the special edition spoils. Behold, the drink of champions, created by Sailing Breeze in collaboration with Yai Publishing House, and as featured in the popular work, Pretty Please Kitsune Gucci? Woo, all this talk's making me thirsty. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> drink of champions, it's time to come home. Uh, soybeans in the drink. That's the good stuff! Wait, what did you say? That was a mighty fine drink. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. Although, maybe it was past its prime. Boss, they said they think there might be, uh, b beans in the drink! Huh? Ah! The boss is down! The boss is down! Quick! Get him to a doctor! What's wrong? Can't Arataki Ito drink soy products? He's allergic to beans! Oh, my goodness. Okay, uh, quick, grab Ito and follow me. I'll get a doctor. I sure hope it's not too serious. I'm sorry. I didn't even consider this possibility. It was all my fault. Leave Ito to me. I'll make sure he stands again. Don't worry. I'll see you later. So, your friend is allergic to beans. It's a very rare condition, though I have heard about it. I'm so sorry that our drink caused such a problem. I feel terrible. If you don't mind, please take this. This is a special drink formula with no soy milk. It just replaced the milk. I could see that your friend enjoyed this drink a lot. Although it tastes slightly different without the soy milk, I'm sure this version will be more suitable for your friend. Please accept it, along with our sincere apologies. Our crowdsourcing competition is now underway. Take part and win prizes. <laughs> Allergies, milk, common, milk, allergy, lactose, I think lactose, milk, common, right? introduced you. I'm trying to keep a low profile here, so I'm afraid I don't take any new business except for referrals by existing customers. You're a I don't want to call Jason. That guy. Fine. He did technically buy from me, I suppose. But let me be clear. This product is highly sought after right now. I can't sell to you at the same price he paid. The price has gone up again? <laughs> well, you can take it or leave it. Believe me, there's plenty more room for upwards mobility on the price. It just so happens to be in my interest to get these off my hands sooner rather than later. Besides, <laughs> good luck trying to find anyone else out there selling. Hmm, we gotta keep negotiating as long as we can. 
Dude, this thief can keep its foul over time. I don't have time for this. Just name your price. Let's go the lows. It's four zeros, right? Hey, at that price, why don't you just ask me to give it to you for free? And then somewhere in between, so that be one five. Ugh, fine, fine. I swear, if I wasn't in a rush to get rid of him, ugh. Hold on! Uh, Paimon thinks there's still some room for negotiation. What's to negotiate? Do you want it or not? You think this is a game or something? If you're not serious about buying, quit wasting my time. I should be moving on to my next location by now, not stuck here arguing with you. The next location you move to will be the police station. You are under arrest for abusing your position for personal gain and falsifying accounts. Do not attempt to resist. The evidence is indisputable. The Tenryo Commission? When did you... Wait, all that negotiating. <laughs> Stick him up! Thank you for your help. The culprit has revealed the location where he stashed the statues, and we have sent people to collect them. Great! So once Epekusu has counted the goods and stuffed the shelves, we can get back in the line to buy one, right? This time, I must complete my mission. I'm afraid it's not that simple. The stolen goods will have to be kept as evidence at the police station for some time. They will not be available for purchase in the immediate future. I would be grateful if you could inform the shopkeeper about this. I should return to the station and see how things are going. Although Sora didn't say anything, she seemed a little disappointed, don't you think? Aww... Is there really nothing we can do? Is this the first drink item we can make? It actually looks like it is. Oh, this helps out. I see. Uh, thank you. We'll make a compensation plan and announce it as soon as possible. Okay, well, see you then. Wait, 
Hold on. Although this statue of Her Excellency, the almighty Narukami Ogosho, God of Thunder, was only intended as a display item, now that I think about it, why don't you have it as a gesture of my gratitude? After all, it was our negligence that caused trouble for you all on this occasion. This is just a small gift, a mere token, but I do hope you can accept it. Really? You'll give this to Sara. Sounds good. As long as we give this to Sara, my mission will be completed. Uh-oh. I've been so nervous all day, and now I can finally relax. I feel really tired all of a sudden. Please, take this figurine to the police station. <sighs> Sayu, signing out. After all, it was our negligence that caused trouble for you all. is not like that at all. Big hit. To request a fan fiction booth, please apply here. Please be mindful of your personal safety at all. This is a prototype designed by Yae Publishing House's top artist and crafted by the most skilled lacquerware master in Inazuma City. Otherwise, how could one hope to capture even one thousandth of the Almighty Shogun's majesty? Let alone maintain it. To do that, you must buy a special kind of shrine and worship it properly. <laughs> It's also essential to clean it often, to avoid a buildup of dust, and it's best practice to hire a craftsman to perform regular maintenance. Sara! Sara! Hmm? What's wrong? These are the five principles for maintenance of the statue of Her Excellency, the almighty Narukami Agosho, God of Thunder, and I haven't even finished explaining the first one. I never knew there was such a fuss over these tiny figurines. <laughs> I'm surprised Miko never mentioned it to me. Y your Excellency, this is most unexpected. I had some spare time, so I decided to come out for a stroll. Oh, did you buy this figurine yourself? I... it's... it was... It was her. Hey, what? It was me. Huh. I didn't know you liked little trinkets like these. Your Excellency, I've yet to finish the defense arrangements for the Iridori Festival. Please excuse me. Very well. Thank you. Watching Sara leave, she looked kind of sad. I have another such figurine in Tenshukaku. A sample sent by Yai Publishing House. I don't need it, so I think I'll gift it to you. Oh, we already have one. I shall not go back on my word. I have committed to giving it to you. What you choose to do with it is your business. You're quite free to give it to somebody else, if you wish. <laughs> or to save you the trouble, I can have someone from Tenshukaku deliver it directly. But, of course, your name will have to be written as the sender. I know. <clears throat> the 
just send it to the Tammy with permission, please. Good. I'll have someone attend to this shortly. Oh, and I wish you a pleasant and enjoyable Irodori Festival. Everyone, I've managed to find the old diagram. Hmm. Though the diagram is well-preserved, you can still tell that it's seen at least three or four centuries of history. Oh, that's pretty old. Is it still possible to find any evidence of tampering? At this point, we can only try our luck and see how we fare. Although the effect is not too obvious, you can still see that some words have now started to smudge. Kazuha, this is clear evidence that this chart was indeed tampered with. Someone framed the Kaedehara clan all those years ago. I see. But I fear that I've discovered this secret too late. When my grandfather was young, he proposed reviving the Ishin art many times to my great-grandfather. But my grandfather was only scolded for being too foolhardy. Yesterday, the former family servant said that my great-grandfather even went to the Yashiro Commission to request that diagram from the head of the Kamisato clan. He then showed that diagram to my grandfather and asked him and his subordinates to try to forge the sword. Sure enough, my grandfather also failed. My great-grandfather then told him, If you can't find the secret within then the Ishin art deserves to fade from the world. My grandfather left Inazuma in a rage after hearing those words. He didn't ever see my great-grandfather again, even till the day of his passing. Looking back at it now, the argument between the two of them was simply... meaningless. Oh, Kazuha. I heard that your great-grandfather was very industrious when he was young, but later in life, he no longer bothered with the forging arts. It appears that his failure took quite a toll on him. Kazuha, did your great-grandfather really say, if you can't find the secret within? Did he use those exact words? Yes. The servant said that he personally heard those words, and still remembers them very clearly. My grandfather was so angry at the time that he smashed my great-grandfather's cherished bonsai tree. Wait up, are you trying to say... Yes, it appears that you understand my meaning. Kazuha, if your great-grandfather thought that the Ishin art lacked finesse, 
Then, after witnessing his son's failure, wouldn't he have said something more along the lines of, your skills aren't sufficient? But instead he said, if you can't find the secret within, don't you find that a little strange? Huh? Oh, so you're saying my great-grandfather may have very well known that the failure was due to someone's tampering? Yes, the current evidence suggests that is highly likely. I apologize, but would you all please accompany me to the Tenryo Commission? After I became a wanted criminal, the Tenryo Commission seized my family's last remaining estate, which contained all of my family's old belongings. I want to inquire about the whereabouts of those belongings. If I can find them, we might be able to get some clues. All right, let's get moving. Hmm, so much lore. Hmm, which it needs. And just like What are you all doing here? Did something happen on Rito? We're just here to ask about some. Kujo Sara. Perhaps you still remember me. Yes, I do. You're Kaedehara Kazuha, a wanted criminal during the Vision Hunt decree. However, your arrest warrant has since been repealed. Sara, we'd like to ask about the Kaedehara clan's property that was seized by the Tenryo Commission. Do you know where all their belongings are now? Yes, the items seized at that time are currently stored in the warehouse next to the police station. Since Kaedehara has come back to Inazuma, those items should be returned to their rightful owner. No, I'm afraid you misunderstand. I'm not here to reclaim those belongings. I just want to investigate them for a personal matter. I see. All right, I'll inform the police station. They'll take you into the warehouse. Thank you, Sara! <clears throat> Kaedehara, about the Vision Hunt decree. That's all in the past now, Kujo Sara. There's no need to mention it again. I know you've also had your own convictions and struggles. <clears throat> However, may I ask something of you? Yes? What is it? Currently, I have no plans to stay in Inazuma. As a result, those items from my family's estate are of no use to me. Madam Kujo, I believe you are a person of integrity. After our investigation is over, I'd like to ask if you can handle those belongings for me. Please, sell them, and use the money to help the poor. All right, I understand. I'll be sure to take care of it. Ah, you must be here to investigate the Kaedahara clan's belongings. Well, Madam Kujo's already informed me of this situation. Please, come this way. This a domain. Ah, the Kaedahara clan's belongings are stored in this warehouse. 
Unfortunately, the items are scattered throughout in order to save space. My deepest apologies. However, I have clearly marked the corresponding items, so they shouldn't be too difficult to find. I'll be waiting for you at the door. Please, come see me if you require any assistance. Kazuha, since the items are scattered throughout the building, I propose we split up and look for clues. Yes, sounds like a plan. Thanks for your help, everyone. Uh, sorry, many of the items were moved here recently, so, uh... Uh, things are still a bit unorganized. Although the previous warehouse was large, the locks were dated and something was nearly stolen. So Madame Kujo Sara ordered the contents to be moved here. I'll be checking around here. You and the others can start looking elsewhere. Oh, it's you. I'm currently investigating the sword rack. Oh, since the Kaidahara clan was a family of renowned swordsmiths, then this blade should be super valuable, right? <gasps> Maybe it's a treasure of the Ishin art! I'm afraid not. Although the sword rack is made of fine wood, the swords placed here appear to be quite ordinary. Due to the dire financial situation of the late Kaidahara clan, Everything of value has probably been sold off already. The blade on the sword hasn't been sharpened, but there are many signs of use on the hilt. Perhaps Kaidehara used it for training as a child. Let Paimon see! Oh, there seems to be a couple uneven characters etched into the scabbard. Kazu... Ha. Wow, so it really was Kazuha's! Paimon can imagine what Kazuha was like as a kid. <laughs> I will continue investigating here and call you if I find anything interesting. What did you find, Shinkyo? I found quite the pile of old books. These books here are all related to smelting steel, and these are about the process of forging blades. This pile over here is all about plants and flowers. Hmm. The books about plants and flowers must have belonged to Kazuha's great-grandfather. Would there be any clues in the books? I skimmed through them just now, but I didn't find anything particularly worth noting. I shall take a closer look and let you know if I find anything. That's a fair plan. Hmm. There must be some around here somewhere. What are you looking for, Finn? Do you see all these pots here? Some of them are bound to have liquor inside, <laughs> right? Hey! Everyone else is trying hard to help, and you're over here looking for a drink! <laughs> I merely jest, of course. Come on, we're close to uncovering the truth now. Why do you look so worried? Well, Paimon doesn't really get why Kazuha told Sara to sell all these belongings. What if we don't end up finding anything today? Then wouldn't Kazuha lose the chance of finding out what really happened all those years ago? You know, just saying. I know you are worried about Kazuha, but if you ask me, he is stronger than you think. Since Kazuha made such a request to Sara, that indicates he's already made his choice. Whether we find out the truth or not today, or whatever it turns out to be, he's ready to accept it. This your archon intuition tell you? Speaking? Okay, great. No, not intuition. Rather, I've lived for a long time now, so you could say I have some experience in reading people. Leave the things here to me. You two can look around elsewhere. Uh, 
Oh, it's you. Unfortunately, I have yet to find anything of value here. Whoa, this folding screen looks pretty old, though. Yes, perhaps if it were better maintained, then it could fetch a decent price. However, I doubt it could be sold in its current condition. I was taking a closer look just now and noticed a large piece of dirt caught in the fabric fibers on the back side. The soil is deeply embedded into the cloth. That means a great deal of force was used when the dirt was lodged into the cloth. It's likely that this patch of dirt is from the very flower pot thrown by Kazuha's grandfather. Because this is not what we are looking for now. Let me think. If I wanted to leave a message behind, I would probably choose to leave it on something a little more special. Huh. Albedo seems to be thinking pretty hard. We better not bother him. Everyone, I've found something that you should all have a look at. Oh, seems Kazuha discovered something. Let's go see what he's got. Oh, the tree. This flower pot was in my house for a long time. I heard that it was left behind by my great grandfather. Yeah, the plants seem to have been dead for a while now. Well, after my great grandfather stopped studying the forging arts, he picked up the hobby of keeping bonsai plants. Most of his prized plants were given to others once he became seriously ill. But he specifically left behind this dead plant at the time and even instructed my grandfather not to throw it away in his will. My grandfather deeply regretted that he never managed to reconcile with my great-grandfather, so he left the plant exactly as it was. But now that I think about it, my great-grandfather could very well have left it behind for other reasons. Hmm, now that you mention it, this flower pot is kind of suspicious. Yes. Let's take a closer look, shall we? We finally found something! Uh, huh? It's only a bunch of blank paper. Do you think someone already discovered the compartment and swapped the contents? No, I do not think that is the case here. See the paper? It's quite yellowed, which means it's very old. Maybe you need to try using water again. Hmm. You mean to say that these sheets have been written with special ink, like that which Miss Kamisato found before? Yes, I agree with this hypothesis. Okay, let's give it a dunk then! There is a pond outside the police station. I'll use the water there. This is all we all do for this event. Dipping paper. <sighs> Those weren't just plain old sheets of paper, were they? Just as everyone guessed, after I sprinkled some water onto the paper, writing did indeed begin to appear on it. It is a letter, written by my great-grandfather. Oh? What does the letter say? Is it something you share with us then? It is. I'll tell you what my great-grandfather knew at the time, but before that, I wish to take you somewhere. Everyone, please follow me. Ah, 
Kaidehara, why did you lead us to this beach? This place really seems to come to something, right? It is. In fact, my great-grandfather and the head of the Kamisato clan tracked the fleeing swordsmiths to this very location. Our hypothesis was correct. My great-grandfather was well aware of the truth behind the defective blades. And it was right here where they encountered the culprit who framed the Kaidahara clan and the Raiden Gokaden. It reads, To whoever reads this letter, I, Kaidahara Yoshinori, have been held to a certain secret throughout my entire life. I don't have much longer in this world, and after much consideration, I finally decided to disclose the matter. All those years ago, when I was pursuing the swordsmiths alongside Commissioner Kamisato of the Yashiro Commission, I was not injured by one of the fleeing smiths. Rather... It was night, and after the clues led us down to shore, I waited for the culprits to show themselves. However, there were no swordsmiths in sight, only a single eccentric stranger. This stranger claimed to be the one behind the failed forgings, and said that he had been patiently waiting for us. He then threatened to destroy the Raiden Gokaden. That person was of able body, and in a blink of an eye, myself and the accompanying samurai had been defeated. Commissioner Kamisato was severely wounded, and I barely escaped death myself. My hat had fortunately blunted a blow to my head. The unusual stranger could have easily claimed my life at that moment. But, after noticing my appearance, he stopped his attacks and sternly asked if I had any connection with the name Niwa. I answered that it was my father's surname, and after my father disappeared, I was adopted by the Kayadahara family. Upon hearing my answer, the stranger paused. After a long silence, he suddenly said, Tell her this. My name is Kunikuzushi. He then turned and left. Wow. So that's what really happened. Yes. My great-grandfather and the head of the Kamisato clan escaped from death and learned that the forging diagram had been tampered with by Kuni Kazushi. However, due to the encounter, the head of the Kamisato clan was worried that my great-grandfather would be falsely accused of being involved with the perpetrator. So even on his deathbed, the master of the Kamisato clan cautioned my great-grandfather to never speak of what happened. Because the perpetrator said he would destroy the Raiden Gokaden, my great-grandfather worried that the perpetrator would still return for vengeance. So, to protect his loved ones, he closed the family business. He said, As the leader of the Kaidahara clan, I am deeply ashamed to witness the decline of the Ishin art. But as a father, it is my priority to ensure the safety of my children and grandchildren. Yes, that's right. If my grandpa had somehow discovered the secret behind the tampered diagram all those years ago, perhaps my great-grandfather would have told him the truth. Unfortunately, he failed to catch any of the hints in my great-grandfather's words. Miss Kamisato, it appears you were unaware of the happenings that my great-grandfather described here. What are your thoughts? Hmm. 
I suppose the reason the head of the Kamisato house never spoke of this to the family was due to similar safety concerns. If the perpetrator was capable of tampering with even the Shogun's diagrams, and could single-handedly defeat many men, then he is not an ordinary enemy. I will discuss this matter with brother shortly, and investigate the identity behind the one called Kuni Kuzushi. Rest assured, we will act cautiously. To be honest, as I read the letter, I felt much turbulence in my heart. But now I've managed to calm myself. My great-grandfather said in the letter that he did not wish his descendants to blindly seek revenge and be deceived by things of the past. Though he was in a tight situation when he wrote these words, I feel like they are still valid nonetheless. I think what's most important for each person is not the past, but the present. Even though we must carry the burdens from the past, there are also things we wish to strive for. Therefore, knowing the truth behind what happened is enough for me. I will live on just as my great-grandfather had hoped. That being said, if the enemy from all those years ago is still lurking and plotting to stir up more trouble, then I definitely won't turn a blind eye. These are simply insights I've gathered from all that I've experienced. Thank you all for accompanying me in my search for the truth behind that incident. Great! Now that we're done here, let's head back to Rito! Uh, we all know who that is, so... of the Iridori Festival. Not only will there be Shincho's signing event, but Albedo's painting of Kuranushi will also be unveiled. So, what's the point of Let's this Let's take a now? stroll through the festival venue. Maybe we'll find everyone there! Hello, Traveler. Paimon? Albedo? Why is the portrait of Kuranushi all covered up? Haima wants to see what your Kuranushi portrait looks like! Don't worry. The unveiling ceremony will be starting shortly. You'll see what it looks like then. I will say that I'm most satisfied with this particular work. I even made a special trip to see someone in order to complete it. They gave me some very valuable suggestions. Sounds pretty suspicious, if you ask me. <laughs> Is that so? Anyway, there is still time before the ceremony. You may have a look around the venue first. Hello, everyone. Hey! What are you two doing together? Don't think we didn't see you two chatting up a storm just now. The moment we came over, you stopped talking! Hmm, is that so? I'm afraid you're just overthinking things. We were merely discussing wine and food. <laughs> I'm sure you two wouldn't be interested. <clears throat> Speaking of good sides with sake, I personally prefer fried tofu. Ugh, forget it. Even if those two are plotting something, they'd still never let us know. I came here to take in the sea breeze. Such a bustling atmosphere is never really to my liking. You really are right. 
I knew you were still worried about me. Thank you, but please, don't worry. The things I said in front of everyone weren't just pretty-sounding excuses. Look, see this familiar harbor in front of us? Before, you could sit here all day without seeing a single ship pass through. Instead, all you would see were soldiers from the Kanjo Commission, guarding against possible intruders. But now, it's become a bustling place. Not only are foreigners coming to Inazuma again, but traffic between here and Watatsumi Island has also been picking up. Yeah! Inazuma has already started to change, huh? I was thinking, in some ways, each and every one of us are similar to this country. It might take a different amount of time for different people, but there will inevitably come a day when each person can let go of their burdens. And when they finally let go, they are free to follow the wind as they please. Ah, greetings, traveler. Paimon. Oh, Ayato! We finally get to see the busiest person of all. Yes, there were many things which required my attention these past few days. Fortunately, the Iridori Festival is proceeding smoothly. The Tri Commission cooperated closely to prepare this festival, so at long last, I can take a break today. Brother and I are very grateful for your help. Hmm. Toma sure is taking his sweet time. Yes. Today is one of the rare occasions when Brother isn't busy. I was going to buy some books, but he said he wanted to come along. His treat. However, he forgot his wallet at home, so he asked Toma to go back and fetch it for him. Paimon didn't think Ayato could ever be forgetful like that. <laughs> Brother always works diligently, and it's rare for him to ever put his duties to the side and relax. So, Toma and I really cherish such moments when he's forgetful. Traveler, Paimon, it's a pleasure to see you. And today's signing goes for me. Indeed it did. Thanks to you, the signing event went off without a hitch. And I must say, the reader seemed most satisfied. Uh, Shinto, is that just Paimon or are you on the lookout for something? You aren't mistaken, though I'm ashamed to admit it. But in fact, I have been on the watch for tourists from Liyue. After all, I came to Inazuma under the pretext of evaluating a potential investment. If an acquaintance were to see me sitting here, then there would be no way to hide the truth from my father. Fortunately, the crowds of readers that came flocking over have kept the usual tourists at bay. Oh, I should mention, Shu is also unaware of the real purpose of my trip. If you happen to meet him, please, remember to keep it a secret. Then, please accept my thanks in advance. I'm sorry that I can't chat long. There are still readers waiting in line. I'll see you later at the unveiling ceremony for Kuronushi's portrait. It's time for the portrait's unveiling ceremony. Let's head over to the Five Kassim Plaza. Absolutely love this I heard that not only is Jin Yu heir to a Li Yue merchant family, but he also created the entire novel without ever telling his family. Come to think of it, that's quite similar to the plot in the novel. Hmm, perhaps next time we should try to write a story about a novelist based on Jin Yu.
Lots of people came to buy books today, though the signing process wasn't difficult. After so many copies, I can barely lift my hand. What does it say about this stuff again? Everyone, welcome to the magnificent Iridori Festival. Today, we have ushered in the final stage of our festival. And now we will reveal the final portrait of the five Kasen, Kurunushi, which was done by none other than our guest artist from Mondstadt, Calx. Hyman has no idea what Albedo's portrait looks like. Oh, this is so nerve-wracking! Let's all count down together. Three, two, one! <laughs> huh? What's this? This piece depicts nothing but a background! I suppose Calx must have forgotten to include the character. <clears throat> uh, let's hear some words from Calx himself regarding the creative process behind this piece. Hello, everyone. First, I would like to say that it was an honor to be invited to create the portraits of the Five Kasen. The Five Kasen are legendary figures from ancient Inazuma, famous for their works of poetry. As time passed, poems were composed about them, and they became the subjects of many stories. I learned from existing sources about those stories that the character of Kuronushi is the deepest and most differing of the five Kasen. Moreover, Kuronushi lacks a dedicated chapter among the stories. It's as if he is a behind-the-scenes role of the five Kasen. Perhaps we can assume that every creator had a different understanding of Kuronushi. So, in the same way, I also wanted to leave this character to everyone's own imagination. After all, the Iridori Festival is a place for everyone to express their minds through creative works. Yep, that's Albedo for ya! His super logical explanation is sure to win everyone's approval. Well, it seems that our adventures at the Iridori Festival have come to a close. <laughs> Not you forgetting something, honey. Huh? But what are you talking about? Oh. Oh, right! We still haven't figured out who left those stories of the five Kasen for us to find. But I have an inkling of who it might be. Really? Come on then, who is it? Tell Paimon! There's a someone that knows everyone. Well, that makes sense. Otherwise, there'd be no way to give the right paper to the right person every time. Also, they're connected to the Kadahara Right! Even though they were using stories to hint us toward Shincho's troubles, the real goal is to lead us to solve the secrets of the Kaidahara clan. No. Oh, Paimon gets it now. Well, at least Paimon thinks she knows. Let's go. We'll get to the bottom of this. Welcome home, almighty Shogun. If you're tired from walking Make all sure you the get in line early to buy your special edition drinks. Hmm. The one who left the stories of the five Kasan. <laughs> I'm afraid you guessed wrong, Paimon. Huh? We <laughs> uh. But seeing as you stumbled upon me, you aren't far from finding that person now. Uh, the only one that because knows. other than me, there's only one person left. Yeah, no. I must not talk to everyone to see what they say. To be honest, I am very grateful to the one who left those stories for us to find. This journey allowed me to uncover the truth behind my family. And I am also very fortunate to have you to accompany me and find the answers. Let me talk to everyone to see what they say. Oh, wait. Ayato! Behind the stories of the five Kasen. Hmm. But don't you think you overdid it a little? Leading 
all your friends on a wild hunt like that? <laughs> As it just so happens, one of the reasons I'm here today is to explain the details behind this wild hunt. Huh. Paimon wants to see how you'll explain yourself out of this one. First of all, the start of this whole incident was due to mere happenstance. You see, Lady Yai happened to catch sight of Xingqiu and the editor carrying the books away one night. She thought it was interesting, so she asked me to tease them a bit. Huh? So it was Miku after all! Paimon knew it! This thing had Miku written all over it! That's right. But using the story of the five Kasen to guide you to the Kaidahara family's secrets was my personal touch. As for my roundabout approach, well, that was something which I had no choice but to do. Yes. Due to a certain incident that occurred earlier, I happened to notice the bonsai plants left behind by Kaedehara Yoshinori, as well as the blank papers hidden inside. I knew there was more than meets the eye regarding those papers, but it took me some time to figure out the secret behind the ink, the kind that would only appear when exposed to water. What Kaedehara Yoshinori said in the letter is very important for both the Kamisato clan and the descendants of the Kaedehara clan, especially Kazuha. The Kaedehara clan used to be subordinates of the Kamisato clan. It was my ancestors who were unable to protect them all those years ago. So now, this obligation fell on my shoulders. Although he has the right to know the truth, the closer he draws to things hidden out of sight, the closer he also draws to danger. I had to confirm whether Kazuha has both the will and ability to be privy to the truth. Of course, I could outright tell him the truth that I had discovered, but maybe he doesn't have the will that's required. In that case, the truth would only become a burden to him. If he lacks the ability, then he wouldn't be able to find the truth in the first place, in which case, it would be better to keep him away from danger altogether. Kaidehara Yoshinori left his message in a roundabout way precisely for this reason. For a long time, I yearned for a suitable opportunity to convey this matter, right up until the night when a legend of sword was smuggled away. Oh, Paimon gets it now. Why was everyone else in for? Yeah, it wasn't only Kazuha. You brought all of the rest of us into this plan of yours. <laughs> I figured you would ask this question eventually. I merely saw that this matter would be of value to you. And more importantly, I hoped that while Kazuha and Ayaka were looking for the answers together, they would have some reliable friends by their side. Reliable friends who would be willing to protect them and make measured decisions. Friends who would spare no effort to lend a helping hand in times of trouble because it is also very likely that you will face the same enemy together in the future. You already know the answer deep down inside, don't you? The answer is actually hidden in the portrait of Kuronushi. When there is no one else near the portrait, you can confirm with your own eyes. As for the means of revealing that answer, well, you have used it many times before. Hmm. I should have, have soft tail ideas. Oh, so. That just means Albedo knows. It's getting pretty late, so nobody else is around now. So Ayato must have been telling us to splash water on the portrait, right? <gasps> it's... it's the Balladeer! Does Albedo know what he looks so like? So he was the one behind the trouble all those years ago! When there is no one else near the portrait, you can confirm with your own eyes. As for the means of revealing that answer, well, you have used it many times before. Also, there's one last thing that we must discuss. 
I mentioned earlier that the occurrence of a certain incident made me notice the bonsai plants. I wish to tell you of that incident now. It was just after the Shogun announced the abolition of the Sokoku Decree. I heard that something had happened at the Tenryo Commission. They had discovered signs that someone had entered the warehouse storing the Commission's articles of evidence and confiscated items. But nothing was stolen. I felt something unusual about that incident, so I told Kujo Sara of the Tenryo Commission to treat it as if nothing happened. She was not to increase the guard or relocate the warehouse contents. In the meantime, I sent a member of the Shumatsuban to keep watch over the warehouse. And sure enough, someone was sneaking in and rummaging through the belongings of the Kaidahara clan. You mean... he was also looking for... <laughs> I let him search for a while, but in the end, he found nothing. Soon after, he had to leave Inazuma by boat. Why didn't you send someone to catch him? <laughs> the best way to protect a secret is to treat it as if it doesn't exist, is it not? Besides, the identity of this person is not hard to guess. After he left Inazuma, I carefully checked the Kaidahara clan's belongings one by one, and eventually discovered the papers in the hidden compartment of the flower pot. I am certain that the papers are the secret which the Infiltrator sought to find, though he couldn't confirm whether this secret existed at all. So, now on to my final question. Which part of Kaidahara Yoshinori's experiences was the secret that needed to be protected? <laughs> I don't have an answer to this question at present, so I'll leave it to your future self. As for now, please enjoy yourselves at the Iridori Festival. Gonna have to be the next one. Schedule, there should be one last ship arriving in Rito today. But the Iridori Festival is coming to an end. Who would be showing up now? Oh, it's almost time. Let's go to the harbor and take a look. Traveler Paimon, nice to see you again. Yes, but we are not 
here representing Watatsumi Island's administration. We were invited as individuals. Things are quiet in Watatsumi Island at the moment, and I wanted to buy some books. So I decided to make the trip here. Goro was not greatly interested in the Irodori Festival, but he said if I was going to Rito, he would join me. Her Excellency is traveling outside of Watatsumi Island and also meeting her pen pal today. As her general, it is my duty to ensure her safety at every turn. Pen pal? Yes, we started corresponding just recently. My pen pal and I share very similar tastes in light novels, and we always have a lot of interesting thoughts to share. Of course, there are also times when we fiercely disagree. Since we were both coming to the Irodori Festival this time, we decided to take the opportunity to hold a book review session and discuss our views on various novels in more depth. Sounds pretty professional! Hey, since you both like novels, why don't you try writing one together? Who knows, maybe you'll shake things up on the Inazuman literary scene! <laughs> That's a very interesting idea. It's almost time. Goro and I must go to meet my pen pal at the agreed-upon location. Kokumi, Paimon's super curious about this pen pal of yours. Can Paimon come with you? Don't worry, Paimon will just watch from a distance and won't interrupt anything. Hmm, let me think. Yes, I think it should be fine for you two to come with me. Alright, let's go together. Now arrived at the magnificent Iridori <laughs> Festival. This is the meeting spot. Huh, there's no one else around. It looks like we're early. My, my. Who have we here? <laughs> Miko? Oh no, Paimon hadn't counted on running into Miko. She and Kokomi are on different sides, and they also believe in different gods. Oh, are they gonna end up having a fight? Lady Guji of the Grand Narukami Shrine. No wonder. I was just wondering where that air of superiority was coming from. <laughs> if it isn't the leader of Watatsumi Island, who looks as soft as a jellyfish, but whose words sting like one too. Uh-oh, this is getting out of control fast! Hello, nice to meet you, fried tofu with all the frills. Oh, the pleasure is all mine, soul of the deep. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's going on here? Miko is Kokomi's pen pal? No, it can't be. Look at them. Clearly they already knew each other. Does that mean... They're so called pinching a pen pals. It's just a color. Hmm? Whatever are you talking about? I don't understand. I'm simply here for the book review session with Miss Soul of the Deep. Let's go. The venue for this meeting is in the Conjo Commission headquarters up there. The view is excellent, making it a perfect place to drink tea and discuss creative ideas. Commission, you seriously expect anyone to believe that? You're not here to talk about shaking up the Inazuma literary scene. You're here to talk about shaking up things in Inazuma as a whole. <laughs> Watatsumi Island.
Island will soon hold formal talks with the Shogunate on Inazuma's future development. It's essential to have an informal meeting like this one before the formal talks begin. Right, especially with someone outside of the Shogunate like myself, who is in a good position to test out where each party draws the lines. But this is just our first meeting. It's a little too early to announce it to the general public. Hey, where'd it go, Roko? Huh. Okay, then. By the way, where is your general? Didn't you say he would be joining you? Huh. That's right. Where did Goro go? We should at least another... Goro went to buy some books for me. He won't be attending the book review. Oh, what a pity. I was rather looking forward to seeing his fluffy ears again. Traveler... Uh, I'd like to talk to you for a moment. What's up? Hmm... I have been getting the sense that Goro does not like having to deal with Gujiai. So, I was initially reluctant to bring him to Rita with me this time. I noticed he instinctively hid as soon as he saw her just now. However, Goro has a strong sense of responsibility and will feel ashamed when he next sees me. So, I would like to give him the task of buying some books for me to make things easier for him. But Goro rarely buys anything. So, as a favor from me, I'd like to ask you to accompany him. meeting with Nico. Leave the books to us and Goro. Thank you. I made a list of the books I'd like to buy. Please, pass it on to Goro. Goro? Are you alright? Oh, oh, it's you. Oh, I, I wasn't expecting you know who to show up. Oh, it, it completely caught me by surprise. I had no idea what to say to her. Next thing I knew, I'd apparently already taken cover. I came here to ensure the safety of Her Excellency, but now I'm useless. I've become a burden instead. Goro, don't be so hard on yourself. Actually, Kokumi asked us to give you a very important task. Oh, Her Excellency's purchase list. Got it. This is how Her Excellency wants me to make up for my mistakes. No problem. Just leave it to me. Goro, let us come with you. We can chill you around the Iridori Festival while we're at it. Oh, thank you so much. <sighs> there is a children's storybook on this list called Night at Mount Yogo. I think this is the stand where it's being sold. A children's storybook? Yes, it's for the children of Watatsumi Island. Her Excellency says that this book is simply written and very useful for learning new words. Hello, I'll take uh, five copies of Night at Mount Yogo, please. Thank you for your patronage. Wow, 
Wow, you're a lucky customer. There's a coupon in one of the books you just bought, which entitles you to a free gift. Wow, Goro got a free gift! That's amazing! Here you go. A toy fox. It's all yours. What? Uh, a toy fox? Are you okay? The hair on your tail is standing on end. Ah, uh, fine. Thanks for the gift. Could you maybe, uh, l look after the toy for me? Yes. Uh, as a thank you gift for coming with me to buy the books. Seems like Goro still hasn't recovered from seeing Nico. Okay, uh, next up... Uh, this isn't the focus of this trip, but let's go buy a light novel. It says on the list that Her Excellency had an editor called Onodera purchase the latest issue of A Legend of Sword for her in advance. Well, we'd better not keep him waiting too long. I really want to invite Miss Ryoko to the festival. Uh, excuse me, are you Mr. Onodera? I'm here to pick up the new issue of A Legend of Sword for Soul of the Deep. Hello there, yes, I have the book right here. I heard Soul of the Deep is the VIP of the Iridori Festival, but I couldn't make it here in time for the signing event due to the shipping schedule. Oh, uh, also, if you have these books available, uh, please give me one of each. Thank you. All right, let me see. Oh my goodness, it's your lucky day today, sir. You are the hundredth reader to buy the saga Hamavarin. That entitles you to receive a special edition version with a review personally written by Lady Yai herself. Oh, are you serious? Are you okay? You don't look very well. I... I'm... fine. Thank you for the books. Her ex... <clears throat> uh, Soul of the Deep asked me to buy this book after all. I'm sure she'll be very happy to receive a special version with the chief editor's review. <laughs> uh... Does not look like he's enjoying this at all. Paimon doesn't know if he's lucky or unlucky. Oh, one other thing. Because of the amount of your purchase, you're able to enter the Yai Publishing House's lucky draw. Please come with me, right this way. But the ending in the original is not like that at all. Please be mindful of your personal channel. safety at all times. Sir, please take your lucky draw whenever you are ready. Just turn the handle and a prize ball will come out. Maybe today's your lucky day. Come on, Goro, go for it! Let me see. Oh, wow! Incredible! You got the golden ball! That's the grand prize! <laughs> Goro! You're a lucky dog today! So what is the grand prize anyway? The grand prize is a full collection of each light novel published by Yai Publishing House. Not only is the prize awarded personally by Lady Yai, but you will also have the chance to shake hands and take a photo with her to commemorate the occasion. What? Not only do I have to meet her, but I have to shake her hand and take a photo with her too? What? This guy won the Yai Publishing House's grand prize? Wow, that's so lucky! An entire set of all their light novels. 
That's worth a lot of money. Ah, uh, um, excuse me, ma'am. Could we discuss this? I don't actually want the light novels. Huh? You mean you want to give up the prize? Goro, don't give up your prize. If you don't want to see Miko, that's fine. We'll figure something out. No, uh, that's not what I meant. I'm not giving up the prize, and, uh, I can cope with the ceremony and the, <clears throat> the picture-taking. But I have a request. I would like to ask Yai Publishing House to change the prize from light novels to books on agricultural science of equivalent value. Agricultural science? Yes. The land in Watatsumi Island is quite barren and always yields a poor grain harvest. We've been looking for new ways to improve the residents' lives. One of her ex, uh, Soul of the Deep's core objectives for the Iridori Festival was to purchase some works on crop cultivation and aquaculture. If I can get these books as my prize instead, we can save a lot of money, and Soul of the Deep can buy some other useful resources too. I see. I understand your request, but I don't have the authority to grant it. Lady Yai will have to have the final say. Um. I will contact Lady Yai now. Please wait for our reply at the Five Kassen Plaza. Depending on the situation, Lady Yai might need to negotiate this matter with you further in person. Okay, understood. having to deal with Miko, but you still agreed to the ceremony and even made your own demands! You think so? I guess I got a burst of courage when I thought about Her Excellency's orders and the people of Watatsumi Island. I am the General of Watatsumi Island's Armed Forces. How can I let something like this defeat me? I'm ready now. I feel like I'm back on the battlefield. Even if Yai Miko does come to negotiate with me, I won't let myself be pressured by her. You still look pretty nervous, though, Goro. Oh, well, probably because I just realized she might make a cunning counter request just to toy with me. Sorry for keeping you all waiting. <laughs> How did it go? What did Guji Yai say? Lady Yai has agreed to your request to swap the light novels for books on agricultural science. That's great! Additionally, Lady Yai says that she will include a few extra works, considering your intended use for those books. You may accompany me to Yai Publishing House's warehouse to select your preferred books. I believe your return ship leaves tomorrow night. We will package the selected books and take them directly onto the ship for you. You'll package the books? Then what about the ceremony? Lady Yai said selecting the books may take up a lot of your time and energy. To ensure you have fond memories of the Iridori Festival, she decided to cancel the ceremony. Although, she did leave you a letter. You can read it on your own time. I didn't think Yai Miko would cancel the ceremony. Huh. I was so convinced that she would try and make a fool out of me. Now it seems like I was overly suspicious of her. Anyway, I'll... Go with the editor to pick the books now. I won't trouble you guys anymore. We'll see ya. <laughs> Great. See you tomorrow night. Make sure you get in line early to buy your special edition drink. Our crowd competition.
Kokomi and Koro will be boarding their boat home soon. Let's go down to the harbor and see them off. You've now arrived at the magnificent Iridori Festival event venue. Traveler Paimon, thank you for coming to see us off. Very worthwhile. The book review session was a big success, and I feel very positive about the forthcoming talks. Goro also made a great contribution. He procured a whole batch of useful books for Watatsumi Island. Uh, I may have won the prize, but ultimately, it was Yaimiko who gave us all these books for free. If I have the chance in the future, I must thank her properly. Speaking of, didn't Yaimiko send you a letter yesterday? What did it say? Oh, I, I almost forgot. I'll read it now. Dear Goro, I suppose you must have been extremely nervous when you heard about the prospect of the award <laughs> ceremony and the photo. It came as a surprise indeed to learn that not only did you accept those conditions, you also made your own demands. Your courage has won my respect. Those books are a token of my goodwill to Watatsumi Island, and also my gift to you. I do hope you like them. Ah, yes, I'm sure that by this point you must be feeling ever so grateful for my kindness and are looking for a way to repay me, yes? Well, here's your chance. Yai Publishing House will host an event next month, and we are looking for someone to dress up as a character from a light novel and interact with the fans. Goro, you are not only patient, but also very beautiful. Why don't you come and help us? I'll prepare a tailor-made outfit just for you. Oh, and by the way, it'll be a woman's outfit. I knew it! I knew she was up to something! Got some charm. Um, oh, I thought I was going to get fat now. So I've got just under a week left. And I'm happy to doing the castle again. Festival. No, that's a way. Who is this genuine? So let's put my last bit on resin.
A walk would be nice. Oh, how exciting! <clears throat> Let's drop John Lee out for once. You dare overstep your mortal authority? Witness the power of Gugwa! <laughs> Insolent! Illusion shattered! There is no <laughs> <laughs> Today, you witness your reckoning. Allow me. I must leave no. St Let me weave you a verse. Rain outlines your fate. Now you shall perish. Ha! There is no escape! Ha! 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 The enraged earth will not absolve you! Rest and rebuild! You stand upon your tomb, though you know it not! Shine down! Leave it all to me! Allow me! Rain cutter! As a dutiful maid would! I must leave no stone unturned! Sword. Illusion shattered. I will not be destroyed.
I will protect you. I'll scout ahead. We may leave at any time. Yep, I can. Stop here now. 